K, it's the sickest podcast. Tune it for the audio, or you can even watch back. Giving players all the props, or put them on blast. We don't give no hot cakes, only talk facts. We're giving all our devotion, riding high on this wave of emotion. Going all out, yeah, cause this is our time. No, we no stopping us till we reach the finish line. can hold it down shout out to my man sammy got it off the ground and to all the listeners tuned in right now got debates analysis and speculation this is sports talk for the new generation you know where to find us got a reputation sick podcast your number one sports destination giving all our devotion riding high on this wave of emotion going all out yeah because this is our time no, we no stopping us till we reach the finish line. All in, we came in to win. We're gonna give everything. S-I-C-K on the run. S-I-C-K, sing, sing. On fire, we're ready to fight. We'll bring the house down tonight. S-I-C-K on the run. S-I-C-K, sing, sing. S-I-C-K, it's the sick. For the audio, or you can even watch back, giving players all the props, or put them on blast. We don't give no hot takes, only talk back. S I C K, S I C K, S I C K, S I C K, For the audio, or you can even watch back, giving players all the props, or put them on blast. We don't give no hot takes, only talk facts. We're giving all our devotion, riding high on this wave of emotion, going all out, yeah, cause this is our time. No, we no stopping us till we reach the finish line. can hold it down shout out to my man sammy got it off the ground and to all the listeners tuned in right now got debates analysis and speculation this is sports talk for the new generation you know where to find us got a reputation sick podcast your number one sports destination giving all our devotion riding high on this wave of emotion going all out yeah because this is our time no, we no stopping us till we reach the finish line. All in, we came in to win. We're gonna give everything. S-I-C-K on the run. S-I-C-K, sing, sing. On fire, we're ready to fight. We'll bring the house down tonight. S-I-C-K on the run. S-I-C-K, sing, sing. S-I-C-K is the sick. For the audio, or you can even watch back, giving players all the props, or put them on blast. We don't give no hot takes, only talk back. S I C K, S I C K, S I C K, Turn up your volume, because you're about to listen to the Sick Podcast. With Tony Maradero. 55 seconds left in the penalty, a minute and 27 seconds left in regulation time. 
Boston four, Montreal three. Lafleur coming out rather gingerly on the right side. He gives it into Lemair back to Lafleur. Oh! The sickest Montreal Canadiens podcast. <laughs> there is a ball. Sports entertainment like no other. Rejoint, on lui fait perdre la rondelle une passe devant. Et c'est bon. Ce sera la victoire des Canadiens. Stanley pour les Canadiens. Le 23e de l'histoire. You found the dogs. John, you found the dogs. He found the dogs. And all together, they worked a young team to the top. And now, a 24th Stanley Cup banner will hang from the rafters of the famous forum in Montreal. The Canadians win the Stanley Cup. Brought to you by Energy Transportation Group. Driven to be different. La Vida TV. Embrace your true nature. And Playground, your premier gaming destination. It's going to be sick. Marinero on this Monday, July 24th. How is everyone doing tonight? It is the Sick Podcast, and you can watch us on YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Twitter Live. You can send us some questions. Heck, you can even email me if you want. And I see all of you in the chat. And hello, and how is everyone doing? And thank you for following us. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please do so. We'd like uh, to add to those subscribers each and every day. Merci beaucoup. Very much appreciated. The Sick Podcast brought to you in part by Energy Transportation Group, recently named by Deloitte. CIBC is one of Canada's best managed companies, the country's leading business award, recognizing innovative and world-class companies, the best managed Canadian companies. Designation fuels energy's purpose of creating progress for their customers, their employees, and their communities. Join a winning team and check out Energy's career page for available opportunities. The Sick Podcast also brought to you in part by Playground. Your premier gaming destination, Playground's Summer Million, is the must-play poker event of the season featuring 10 championship ring events, $1 million in guaranteed prize pools, and a $500,000 guaranteed main event located just over the Mercier Bridge, only minutes from downtown Montreal. It's Playground. By the way, I was there last night, had a great time, and I'm going to be back again on Saturday nights, which is a very, very popular night at Playground. Why? Because at 10 p.m., the sweet table comes out, for the benefit of all of their customers. Pretty cool, huh? And of course, the Sick Podcast also brought to you in part by La Bita TB, brewed in Quebec, and a winner of a dozen international awards. La Bita TB offers quality microbrewery beers made with premium ingredients for everyone's taste. La Bita TB, embrace their true nature. Huh? Pretty cool. Look at it. Look at it. You see? Zoom in here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Pretty cool, huh? All right, okay. Without further ado, speaking of pretty cool, let's bring in our guy, former Montreal Canadian and with BPM Spar, George Larac. What's going on? I'm in New York, Tony, all week. I'm there because uh, we have a couple like training to do uh, with the NHL because uh, uh, dressing room talk training because uh, we'll be talking to, to teams uh, all throughout the year and uh, we have a uh, big training to do uh, all week in New York. Pretty cool. Hey, do you get to pass your air miles card with all these trips that you're doing? You get to pass, you get the miles for this or what? Well, I do, but as you know, going to New York doesn't give you that much, but going no. to Edmonton to see yeah. my kids back and forth, that gives you a lot. Who's better than you? What a star, this guy. Hey, on more than one occasion, you joined us on the Sick Podcast and you actually extended an invitation to Arbor Jackye, among others, and said, Hey, you know what? I, I think I can show you a few things. You've done so with Michael Pizzetta in the past. And there was word, there was word that you had actually started. I read a piece <laughs> where your buddy, Max Truman, whom you hosted a radio show with uh, in the past season, Le Monde de Georges at BPM Sport, contacted you and said, Hey, George, I have it on good information. You were giving Pizzetta some fight tips. And you said, no, no, not true, not true. And then Max sent you a picture, actually showed you on the ice with Michael Pizzetta. Uh, uh, actually, Tony, what happened is... Guilty. Uh, it's, okay, what happened is actually worse than that. Um, I know a lot of people want me to give tips to different guys. And I played in the NHL for 13 years. I don't need the publicity. And I respect the guy's privacy. I have been helping a few guys, not just Pezzetta. 
And I'm not going to say on the air who they are. And I told Max Truman that if you want to know who they are, you're going to have to catch me like you did last time. The only reason why I publicly admitted it is that at that rink, at Brussels, where we were doing the session the other day, there was a lot of people on the stand. So I figured that somebody was going to film it. Somebody did it. They sent it to him. When he called me and asked me if it was me, I said it wasn't me. But he said, I have a video of you, but I didn't believe him. So when they put it on the air and they said I denied it, then I had no choice to admit that, yes, I was doing it. And I explained why. And uh, yeah, because I, I look, you know, it's nobody needs that publicity, you know. And now that they saw, I explained. And I love Michael Pezzetta. I love him. He plays with big heart. If everybody on the team had his heart, the team would be much better. He's not a big guy. And he knows to stand the lineup, he has to be physical. Yeah. And sometimes he's going to have to face the music. So what I did with him, we did a few sessions, and we're going to do more, is that so hold I'm on, teaching hold, him. Hold, hold, hold on one okay. second, though. Hold on one second. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. somebody took a video. Oh, so he called you. He asked you about this. And then there was a picture. You said it wasn't you, right? Yes. Okay. But the thing is, no, he said he had a video, but I said it wasn't me. But I didn't believe that he had a video. But one of the parents I got that you. were there for his kids' camp, they filmed it and they sent it to him. But you know what I'm That's thinking That's how you about? got the footage. You know what I'm thinking about? Because I know that Max, Max was a rapper back in his heyday, right? He was pretty good at it. I think you, he would do a rap song like every week on uh, on your show, correct? No? No, he's with this. Connection. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, no, no, yeah, back. No, no, yeah. No, I think Max okay. was a, was a rapper back in the day, right? Yes. Hold on a second. This is amazing, George. Without doing this on purpose, you guys, you just you can make a song out of this. I mean, if Shaggy made one, it wasn't me. <laughs> you can make <laughs> another <laughs> one. <It wasn't> you. <laughs> Yo, open up, man. What do you want, man? My girl just caught me. You let her catch you? I don't know how I let this happen with who? The girl next door, you know? Man, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Say it wasn't you. Honey came in, she caught me red-handed, creepy with the girl next door. Picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. How could I forget that I had given her an extra key? All this time she was standing there, she never took her eyes off me. This would be great, George. Yeah, so, but so this, the, you and Pazetta just say it wasn't you. Yeah, but you know, Tony, I, as, as I said, I didn't want that publicity. I don't need it, and he doesn't need it either. You know, and I just came clean after I actually saw that he somebody did send a video, and clearly you could see that it's me. But I want to talk about that though. It's so, it's so important now that we're in there and clarify that out. Michael Pezzetta is amazing. Often, night in, night in, night out, when he's in, he has the most body check in both teams. He plays physical. He knows his role. And even though he's not the biggest guys, he knows that sometimes he's going to have to mix it up with some of the big heavyweights. This year, the Atlantic division is the toughest in the NHL. Max Domi is going to run around everywhere because Ryan Reeves is there. Lou Chick will be running in everywhere in, in Boston because of Cam Neely. You know, the division is the toughest in the NHL. And now you think of the battle Montreal, Boston, Montreal, Toronto, there'll be a lot of fist cups. So when I do training with guys like that, I don't, I'm not showing Pezzetta how to be a heavyweight. He's never going to be a heavyweight. I show him how to defend himself, how to do good against big guy. How to do good in a different if you have difficulties. How to do good against guys this size. There's a lot of stuff to show, and the fact that I could still do it. You're trying to help him. Not, you're trying to help him not to get hurt, not to catch exactly. A beating. Yes. Because at the end some of the day, guy, some, George, yes. I see. I, I get what you're doing because let's be honest yeah. here. And pozetta has got all the courage in the world. Yeah, but he's not a heavyweight like these guys, no, right? So what you're doing but Tony, is you're, but, but trying, Tony, to, you're trying to minimize the damage here. Tony, listen. As I told him and many other guys that I help out, when if Pezzetta goes with Reeves Aluchik, his goal is not to win, is to draw and not to get hurt. If he draws, he wins. 
He has nothing to lose. These guys have something to lose because if Luchik and Reeves draw with him, Pezzetta won. Just the fact that he goes with them, Pezzetta is winning because he shows his yeah. big heart. Yeah. Because there's many guys that won't. Now, they're because he's still going to play. Push. They're too strong for him. Tony, yes. That, that's not it. We know that. Yeah. But, Tony, I'm showing him the right technique and we're mixing it up enough and I'm shaking it up enough to put him in the position that he knows how to defend and to protect himself. And he's doing so much better. I love it. He's doing so good. And Tony, yeah, I won't even have, you know, I watch every game and every time he drops the glove, I'm like, it's like my son. I look him up and I'm like, come on. You know, I'm like, because he has the heart of a lion, right? Yes. And last year when he fought Reeves, people don't know this, his shoulders was hurt. His shoulder was so badly hurt, he didn't say anything to the team because he didn't want to be, uh, he didn't want to be in the injury list and then be sent back down. He fought him with a bad, bad shoulder. Now he's healthy, he's strong, and you know what? I'm not even going to worry if he goes against any one of these guys. He's going to know how to defend himself. Well, I'm still going to worry. Now, I, look, I think it's honorable. <laughs> look, 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 so, Tony, I'm telling you, okay. you don't have to worry. You okay. won't have to worry. He, he will be ready with okay. whatever comes. But I like Tony. I just want, well, oh, let me reiterate that. So people understand, Pezzetta is not a tough guy. He's a physical player. He will mix it up if he has to. He's an energy player. He's physical. He puts up the occasional goal assist. Many times last year, the fourth liner was the best line yeah. because of him. I love his energy. Okay. He knows his role. When he's going to be on, is going to be a factor. And it's good that he's there to take some pressure off Jack Eye. Okay. I love where this is going, all right? Because there's a few things I'm wondering, and if there's one guy who can answer these questions tonight, it's going to be you. So you're, you're giving him a few tips to help him with his defense. You're giving him a few tips uh, in hopes that uh, he will able, be able to draw or, or uh, you know, avoid damage. How does he counter brute strength and force from these guys? Milan Lucic is an ox. Well, let me tell you. Okay? Let me tell you. Reeves Tony, is an ox. They're strong. Let me tell you. Pazetta's Tony, not. Tony, I'm stronger than Lucic and Reeves right now. I am. And when we're on the ice, we mix it up. He feels my strength. I would do it. I shake him up like I would do in a real fight. And that's how he's getting used. By handling me, he's going to be able to handle them. And that's what he's doing right now. Because I know how to fight. You know, you don't lose fighting. Fighting is something that you don't lose. It's in you. Technique and everything is in you. Of course, I don't have the speed to play in the NHL anymore. That, that, there's no doubt about it. The game is way too fast today, and I haven't played for too long. I couldn't. But fighting-wise, Tony, with one hand on my back, I could lay down anyone in this league. It must be two more now. Just stop. When is, and I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Okay, there's I respect no you a lot, man. Tony, Tony, is it Tony, there, Tony, there's no one in this league anymore. There's nothing left. So when I mix it up with these guys, I don't just talk. We mix it up, too. We fight. And that's how I get them ready. Just like a boxing, you, you think sparrow, like you do sparring. You, you think I put you on the ice tomorrow night versus Ryan Reeves and you can take him? Oh, my God. I even had this conversation with him in Ashburn. Stop, I even told George, him that in stop. person. George, I told him in I, person. Tony, George, George, I told I'm your, them, I'm Tony, your friend. Stop Tony, saying these things. We're live. Tony, We're on YouTube, Facebook, and Tony, Twitter. Thousands and thousands of people are going to watch Tony, this more than the Tony, WWE. Jesus, Tony, was love. I, was with, I was with him in Nashville. We spent all week in Nashville together, and I told him in his face that he wouldn't stand a chance against me today, and he started laughing. He did say... Of course, he, he started laughing. Say, George, Tony, Tony, no, no, but Tony, no, no. what he says, he, he, what he told me, he said, I think it would be a good fight. I don't think it would be. I think it would be easy. Tony, the thing is, and understand that, Dave Brown, you know how old Dave Brown is? Dave Brown Dave, is what, 60? Dave Brown's got to be in his 60s, yes, because he played when Tony, Knuckles played and Tony, Knuckles is over 60, yes. To me, if Dave Brown was playing the NHL today at 60 years old, he'd be the toughest guy in the league. 
George, I like the Daniels. George, you listen, I'm it. not Tony. George, I'm George, serious. George, listen, that's Tony, Tony, yes, Tony. Yes, Tony. you said one stupidity. Don't Tony, say two. Listen, Tony, listen. If Chris Nyland would dress up tonight in the NHL, he'd be the toughest guy in the league. Those guys today, they have it easy. There's no competition. There's nothing. Listen, there's four like there's four heavyweight in the NHL right now. Ryan Reeves, Luchik, McDermid, and Delaurier. That's it. In the entire league, the rest are pretenders. They don't have competition like we had back then. They have most of every Donald Brashear, same thing. You'd be back in the league today, be the toughest guy in the league. There's tons of guys. You put them back today, Tony. They'll be the toughest guy in the league because it's not something that you lose. George. I'm serious. George. Tony. George. Tony, I'm dead serious. All the guys that you mentioned, with all due respect to you and all the other guys, you fight tomorrow night. One of those four tough guys that you just mentioned, all of you lose, George. George. No. George, I no. love you. You're my friend. We go no. back. We go way back. Eh? Okay. Tony, no. Listen to me. You know what no. friends do? Tony, they no. help each other out. Okay. You, Tony, I'm that, telling you, you know, you said a stupidity tonight. You followed it up one minute later by saying a second. As much as I want to keep this podcast going for the good of the podcast, instead of being Tony. selfish to have all kinds of views on this podcast, I want to try and try and make keep some of your credibility. I don't want you to ruin Tony. everything you've been trying to build, George. Tony, I Do am you realize serious. That this is going to make headlines tomorrow on Dali Kulis on all the websites on uh, Tony, like everywhere. It's the truth, Tony. It's the truth. Want me to oh, lie to you? God. I could take any one of these guys without taking a nap, without being worried. I could go shopping all day. I take him on right now. George. And I'm serious. George, you didn't beat Scott Thornton. I'm not saying you lost, by the way. You didn't beat uh, Sean Thornton in his, Tony, in Tony, his prime. Tony, hold on. In your prime. Tony, Tony, you've been, re you've been retired me. for how long? Tony, Tony, listen. If you watch the fight. And I know that Thornton, you're one of the top three to ever do it. I no, know no, listen. Listen. If, listen. if you want to talk about that fight with Sean Thornton, if you look at all the footage, you, you slipped like, on you a stick. See, I step on a glove or a stick. I fall down when I step on it, and then I got back up. That's true. why I fell. That he didn't get true. me down with a punch, Tony. I've true. never got knocked. I never got knocked out. I never got knocked out. I know. I that. never got a concussion. I, I never got cut. I never lost a teeth, and I've never like lost. Like you could debate that I didn't do better than the other guys in some of the fights, but you can never say that I had a clear loss in the NHL. And today, Tony, with what I'm seeing today in the NHL, I would have no problem with any George, of these guys. You, and it's not their fault. George, you've been, they don't have comp you've been retired Tony, for how long? For 13 years. But, Tony. It's it 13 does, years you retired. Tony, you eat Tony, lettuce, Tony, tofu, I'm, and couscous. You want to go up against these Jack the Giant killers. The, these guys Tony, have lost who, who, Tony, who are they, who they fighting with today? There's no competition today, Tony. That's what I'm saying to you. That they're like, listen, for a guy to be good, Tony, he has to have fierce competition night in, night out, night in, night out, right? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no one left. There's yeah. no fighting in the NHL today. So they don't train the same way. They're not as strong as they used to be. If they played in my era, it would be different. But Tony, forget it. It would be easy. I could take him out right now. If each, <laughs> each, each one of them, listen, Tony, listen, listen, George. listen, bring Luchik. Delaurier, Reeves, McDermott, okay? Bring them in a the game, all in the same team, and I'll take the one after another, one shift after one shift in the same game. No problem. <laughs> Tony, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, listen. <laughs> no, Tony, I'm not drunk. Listen, Tony. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to get drunk tonight, and I'm going to do the show just the way you did it. What did you drink earlier today? Tony, listen. 18 La Bita TVs? Tony. Tony, you know who Dave Samenko is, right? Yeah, yes, he was Wayne Gretzky's okay. protector for okay. the longest time. Okay, yes. okay. 
You know, when I was in my prime as a fighter, it was Nemeton, right? Yes, George. I have tested Semenko strength. Yeah. When I was in my prime. Yeah. Semenko was retired. Yeah. And I could tell you mm. that if he would have played in my time, he'd be one of the toughest guys still, even though he was retired. Tony, this is something that you I understand that you don't understand it, and many people don't. Fighting is not something that you lose un unless you're hurt or your hand is broken or, you know, you have sh the shakes or something like that that's different. But if you're healthy, guys that used to fight, they could still fight today. I'm not talking about playing the game skating and stuff, Tony. I didn't say I would score out there and do be like McDavid. I'm strictly talking fighting-wise. Today... George, I could take any Tony. Tony listen, let's today, speak carefully. Mike Tony, Tyson Tony, is the Tony. toughest boxer I've ever seen in my life. If he goes in the ring today, within one minute, he's knocked down twice by Tyson yeah, Fury. You realize you're, that uh, eh? you're 100% right. We're not, this is the, not same the same thing. that we used to be. Tony, when we, George, when Tony, we get old, it's not, but on. it's only, it's yeah, but it's not the same thing. You're right, but it's boxing is much more complicated than fighting on the ice. It's, it's not the same, Tony. And you're right. right about that, that Tyson would stand a chance. But, Tony, the thing is, there's no Tyson Fury in the NHL today. There's okay. just middleweight. Okay. Tony, Listen to me all carefully. These guys, Tony, hold on. Let me add this up. All these guys that are there today, Tony, back in my days, they would be middleweight. They would not be heavyweights. Now they're heavyweights because that's the only guys that are left. That's why. But there's not, nothing to worry about, Tony. Okay. I'm telling you. I'm serious. Tony, okay. I know about fighting. I know you do. I'm telling you. But so that's why I think you've lost your grasp of reality. I'm going to explain something to you, okay? Yeah. Rocky Balboa, there coming back at Rocky Six and going 12 rounds with Mason Dixon. This is a movie, okay? It's not real. Yes. Okay. Hold yes, on. A I second. know that. I'm going to explain something to you. As much as you explain to me the art of boxing and defending, and I understand a lot of the things you're saying, and I'm sure that you have a technique that is superior to most and all that stuff. I get all that stuff, okay? But I'm going to tell you something about as we age. And I'm going to talk to you about the laws of physics. Even though I'm not a physics major, I know something, okay? When we get older, we lose our ability to perform a certain way. I'm going to explain to you something, okay? I'm 50 years old, okay? I'm not the player I used to be. Now, when I get intimate with my wife, after three and a half hours, I have to stop. You understand? Tony, let me ask. Why are you laughing Tony, for? Why are you laughing for? Tony, Tony okay. I'm, I'm, gonna say I'm something embarrassed else. to say, but Tony. I have to stop after three okay. and a half hours. I'm not like what Tony, I used to be. You mean three and a half minutes because you, you're known as the rabbit. Tony, listen. The reason why I know, Tony, I'm pretty sure that eventually some video is going to come out. The reason why I know, Tony, is some of the guys that I train are heavyweights. And I shake them up pretty good. And we fight, Tony. We fight. And they're pretty impressed. That's also why I know, Tony. Joe, the difference is, is that you're doing it behind closed doors in a rink. You're helping them with nothing on the line. Tony, if you're playing tomorrow Tony, night there, and at the you don't not, Tony, garden, and they want to rip your head be, off, it's different. It would be, Tony, it would be even worse, Tony. They would be putting on a coma. Forget it. It would be easy. Tony, listen. Created a, you, you need help, eh? That was Tony, night, you, don't, you need help. Tony, you, you don't know about fighting as much as I do on the ice, Tony. It's an okay. art that you don't lose it like that. And and Tony, I'm I am serious. I am serious. I, I'm serious. This is too. something that you don't you don't lose like that. Friends, I, they, I, they, I, they say the real things to each other. They try and help them Tony, out. You know, you but, need but Tony, hold on a second. You ever watch the hangover? Yeah. Okay. The wolf pack, okay. Tony, the Wolf they, Pack, Tony. at one point, they all got together. They went to Allen's house because they wanted to recommend an intervention. So they got together. They took a road trip, and they were going to drive him. They offered to, to go do the intervention. You're my friend. George, you need help. I think you need an intervention. I don't know. Tony, if it's Tony. I am willing to drive you. Any I'm willing to cancel my summer vacation to get you the help that you need, George. Tony, George, I'm, you've lost Tony, your mind, I George. Tony, there's no wolf left in the NHL. It's just middleweights left. That's what you don't understand. You don't understand. I fought in an era there was Bugard, 
Belak, Brescia, McKenzie, Domi, um, man, Stu Grimson, Matt Johnson. I thought in an era, Tony, that guys were killers. They were warriors. Tony Twist, Chris Simon, they were killers. You had to be in your A game to do that. Today, this era is done. There's no one left. That's why I say, Tony, there'd be no problem today because these guys that are here today, in my time, they would be middleweights. That's I'm what happy. you don't understand. You I'm don't happy. understand it. I'm happy. And that's why, and, and Tony, that's also why I could, keep, I could keep training these guys because if I couldn't do it, I can't train them because it's not like I'm in school, they're sitting in the desk and they're writing theory stuff. We're mixing it up on the ice. Oh, George, stop. I'm happy you, Tony, that you're Tony, a collaborator Tony. on my podcast and that you're not returning to play tomorrow in the National Hockey League because you would get hurt. And I don't want to see my Tony, friends get hurt. Tony, I couldn't play in the NHL today because it's too fast. But if yeah, I had yeah, to I know fight, that. I'd be the, yeah. but if I had to fight, I'd be the toughest guy in the league. I said humbly. No, no, forget it. I've created a monster. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think? Who do you think? Who do you think would have a chance? George, think about George, it. George, you, you talked about Reeves and McDermott. George, they would hurt you, George. No, they wouldn't even touch you. George, 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 they would leave you on the ice, George. They would clean the floor. They would not. George. Oh, man. No, Tony. They wouldn't touch me. Now, they having said that, touch me. if I ever went in a bad part of town, I'd love to have you by my side. 100%. <laughs> if, if I could choose one in the province, it would be George St. Pierre, obviously, but you would not You would be on that list. You would definitely be on that list. All right, Actually, okay, Tony, please, 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 of, of the ice... Of the ice, it's better to take George and Pierre. On the ice, you could take me. But okay. I doubt that you go somewhere in town on okay. the ice. <laughs> let's let's move on because this over here, this is this is this we made history tonight. A shout out to Murphy Clinic, an aesthetic uh, clinic specializing in medical aesthetic care. George would need it. Uh, they offer permanent laser hair removal as well as a wide range of treatments for skin problems such as acne, rosacea, fine lines, and more. They currently have two clinics, one located at Montreal Shop Angus, like Angus Beef, George, and the second on the North Shore in Tarban. They're also opening soon in Quebec City. Visit murphyclinic.ca or on Instagram at murphyclinic. Okay, Tony, from one big Tony, boy to another. Yeah. Do you, think, do you think I want hair removal? Look at this beautiful hair. I've been letting it grow since 2003. No extension, all natural. Look at that. George, beautiful hair, but those guys that we talked about, they grab you by the hair and they would mop the floor with you. Now listen to me Tony, carefully. They couldn't they couldn't touch me with a pole vault. In their prime and in your prime, you're right. No. Today, today. you're wrong. Today. Okay. Right now. Today. Maxim Contois, speaking of a big boy, 6'2", probably anywhere between 215 and 220. No yeah. qualifying offer from him from Anaheim. 24-year-old left winger. It doesn't appear the Canadians to be interested. Uh, he said that they have not contacted his agent. My question to you is, should they? Okay, so I know uh, Maxime Contois' situation is very delicate. The reason why, uh, apparently the reason why uh, people are not contacting him is because of the reference to Hockey Canada 2018. Mm-hmm. We're hearing that the names of the players at fault will be named. And there's rumors that his name could be in there. Wow, that's Maxime, Contois, uh, Maxime Contois have said publicly that he didn't do anything. He said publicly that he had nothing to do with it, which we have to believe him when he says that. So if he says that, I'm going to believe him. But... Maybe something knows otherwise because I don't understand why a 24 year old is not picked by any team when he's supposed to be in his prime. He's had a couple tough years. He said because of injuries, which is possible. Um, if his name is cleared, I would have no problem giving him the chance. But it's just that right now, I think that teams are waiting to see what name are they going to be cleared just to make sure. Because there's even teams, Tony, that knows some of the players that are involved on their team. They're getting ready for lengthy suspension on their own players. Because so, the list for some team is public. I could even tell you the list, Tony, but I won't go there. I'm not going to do it. That's not my job to do so. Let the teams do, let the, let, let the process go in. 
Let them mention it and let's see what the repercussion is going to be. I hope Maxim will be cleared. If he's not, we're going to understand why he wasn't signed. And if yeah. he's cleared, I'm sure a lot of teams is going to get him. So let's see what's going to happen over time. But I know that this kid at 24 years old is in his prime. And if he's cleared, he could help a team. All right. Okay. Uh, Guy Boucher, clearly the Toronto Maple Leafs feel that he can help them uh, because they have signed them on as one of their assistant coaches. So the big question here is, he was here. He was in our backyard. Lord knows the Montreal Canadiens could use some help uh, in terms of an experienced coach uh, to their staff. Um, some will say that Guy Boucher can run a better power play than Alex Burroughs. Uh, he was known as a power play specialist at one point. Then he was known as the specialist of the one three one. Um, at one point, uh, that kind of um, wavered off a little bit. And everyone remembers the game, of course, between Tampa Bay and Philadelphia, where Philadelphia didn't even want to attack because Tampa Bay wasn't even sending in a player. It just seemed that they wanted to wait for them and uh, set up a wall and then counter. Um, and uh, he drove Pierre Dorian absolutely crazy, who said, if I hear one more time that rest is a weapon, I'm going to lose my marbles. So the big question is, should the Montreal Canadiens have hired Guy Boucher to their coaching staff? Yes or no, and why? Tony, I'm going to say no, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I'm surprised that you asked me this question because you're the biggest Martin St. Louis fan. I love um, Marty. The thing is, Montreal... Never me on the has... podcast, but I mean, I won't hold it against him. Montreal has the staff in place already and to do a job and, uh, you know, the job is in progress with having the young kids that are playing right now and everything. So you got to give them a chance. You know, you can't, as I told you before, it's tough to evaluate them because they don't have any pressure right now. But now the team is getting better. And as I told you, the pressure, they're not going to have it. This year, they should fight for a playoff spot. They won't make it. But in two years, they should be in. That's when they're going to have the pressure. So uh, Marty is surrounded by the guys he wants to be with. I think it would be unfair to replace some of the assistant coaches that are there already that are with him from the start to try to rebuild with a team that hopefully becomes a playoff team for many years to come. So I don't think that they should have done that. You keep the staff the way that it is and you let them prove themselves and see what they could do. Now, when we're talking about uh, Toronto, Toronto, they have to change up, change a lot of things. As we know, they, they got Reeves to be a, so the team is more physical. Mm -hmm. I think that Matthews, if he's healthy this year, I think he's going to win the Rocket Richard because he's going to have so much room because of the presence of Reeves and nobody's going to mix it up in Toronto. He's going to bring so much respect, so much room. Like those skilled guys to have more room, they're gonna do a lot of damage. I'll go and with Connor McDavid. For, and, I'll go with Connor McDavid for the Rocker Richard. Yeah. McDavid is gonna win. He's gonna have 150 points again. But I think that Matthews uh is gonna he's gonna light it up. I wanna year. add something, but, even though I'm the one who asked the question, I wanna add something on Guy Boucher. When Guy Boucher coached the Tampa Bay Lightning for two and a half seasons and Marty St. Louis was arguably his best player, along with Steven Stamkos. Yeah. I think it would make for a, just a very weird situation if the guy who used to coach Marty would all of a sudden become an assistant under Marty. And those situations, usually the way they go down, I don't know if it's ever been done before, but you can imagine, you know, a lot of coaches, they believe that Marty St. Louis didn't go through the ranks and he got something too fast, too soon. And you would think that probably there would be a case where Guy would probably um, uh, take up a lot of space or want to, maybe, uh, because of his experience, which would be normal. And I just, I don't see it meshing. I don't see it blending. You know what I'm trying to get at? Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm sure they're all great team guys, but I just think that at one point they wouldn't be on the same page and maybe Guy would see something differently than Marty. And, um, you know, and we lost George. <laughs> Probably got knocked I'm back. out. By, I'm back. I, I thought you got back. knocked out by Reeves. Or, oh, but we, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Brady, Brady, Brady Kachuk would hammer you, too. Don't Tony, get offended, eh? Don't get Tony. offended. I'm not, I'm not saying this to insult you. You know I love you. Tony, Look, I'll tell you this. On. You would you would hammer me. That's for sure. 100%. You, Tony, would, knock, every, you would knock Tony, me out. Everybody would knock you out. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> 
I got into a fight about four or five months ago. I won the fight. It was all over Instagram. Come on, Tony. Tony. Hey. Tony. Hey. Do you want to come in a tra- hey? You want to come in a training session? But don't punch me. I've had no, four concussions. Tony, I won't punch you. You, you want to give me fight tips? Session? You want to give me fight tips? Yeah, yeah, for fun. You're not gonna. Okay, okay, I'm there. Tony, I I won't. Come when on, I won't punch you. Next week. Next week I'll be there. Okay, next week we'll do something fun. We'll do something fun, and I'll teach you some stuff. We'll tape it. And yeah, we'll, put it, we'll, tape and we'll it. put it on social media. No problem. No problem. We'll do it okay. next okay. week. Okay. Now you're gonna be in town next week. Yeah, I'm in town all week because. Uh, uh my kids are coming for uh the full month of august and as okay. you know every august i rent the ice in uh, complex bell brassard yeah and i give it for free to all the kids to play games against with my kids and stuff how old are they 14. none of them would beat my you son, in a fight none my of them. son is six two my son six two my daughter is six foot your son is six two already at 14. yeah <laughs> wow does he want to play in the NHL? Tell me, does he? Yeah, he does. But I'm not like those crazy dad that push him and force him. And and I let him have fun. And I encourage him to do other sports too. Oh, yeah? Uh, You're a believer of that? Does ba- You're a believer of Yeah, he does yeah. baseball, golf, uh, track and field. He does tons of other stuff, which is important. Kids should not be playing 12 months a year. The reason why... My biggest because- regret, by the way, as a parent, yeah. my biggest regret, uh, not encouraging more participation in other sports like i you know i i i look there's two schools of thought right there's the one that if you do the sport 12 months a year you'll master it but the risk is that you kind of burn out or you kind of get sick of it and also doing other sports will able will enable you to get other muscles and and in movement right tony i i want to give you a challenge in a sick podcast i'm i'm sending you a challenge okay Okay. And whoever loses has to give a thousand dollar to the charity of our choice. Okay. Whoever so, loses that challenge. So you're okay? gonna have to do a collaboration for free instead of the regular charge of a thousand dollars per collaboration. Okay, go. We're gonna do a soccer game. You make your team, I make my team. And you have to play, I have to play. I make my own soccer team, 10 against 10. You make your own team. We play one another. Whoever loses, give a thousand to the charity of the other person's choice. This is going to be very easy. I'll tell you why. I'm going to invite Reeves, Lucic, and McDermott. You're going to be so scared. You're not going to show up. I got to win by forfeit. Tony do, you, Tony, do you agree to the challenge? Uh, I know who you're going to get. That's the challenge that I have there. Tony, you're playing and I'm playing. Your first call is going to be Patrice Bernier. Yeah. Your second, second call is going to be Sandro Grande. Yeah, you know me. You know me. <laughs> who, by, who, who, by the way, and I, I look, I, it's, it's, I think it's. Uh, you it's, know me. You know it's, me. It's, 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 I think it's public information already, but if it, uh, Sandro uh, is, is going to be working uh, in soccer, I, I think you know this, right? Uh, in Europe. And uh, he's going to be leaving uh, in less than two weeks. So we wish him we wish him all the best, obviously, because yeah. uh, uh, it's been a very very difficult past couple of months for him. I think we all know that by now. And uh, uh, George, you were you were, the you, were the you were you were really there for him. You accept the, hey, you right? accept the challenge. I, I just want to finish with this. You okay, were okay, you were really there for Sandro when he was going through uh, tough times, and that's uh, that's what friends are for. So yeah, I played with him. I played with him uh, many years, Tony, and, uh, you know, he's my brother, he's my friend, him and his family, and, uh, yeah, we're pretty close. So, let me, listen, let me play some calls tomorrow, let me see who I can get on my team, and then I'll tell you if Tony, I can. Tony, why you, ref- like, come on, man. I, what are you going to lose? You give money to a charity? Okay, 500. No, 500 to a charity. It's, it's not the money. Stop, stop, stop. It's not the 500 or the 1,000. It's, I have a feeling that before I call everyone, you've already called them, they're all on your team. Tony, no, it, I'll have like guy like Ali Jabba, Sebrengo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, not guys like that. It's no big yeah, deal. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. You're gonna call guys that have scored a thousand goals, and I'm gonna have guys. That, <laughs> I'm gonna have guys that played LaSalle Double A. All hey, right. Hey, hey, hold on. You can have your, your son is a hell of a player. You can have your son. Uh, he's in Europe. Okay, and I'm, he's not coming down for a friendly game. Listen, listen. 
I will um I will we'll go with this. I will see you in the gym and uh uh you can give me fight tips. Okay? No, no, on the ice. It's fight on the ice. I'm showing you fight tips. On the ice. Gym, yeah, I don't even yeah. know how to stand up on the ice. Where am I gonna no, go? No, no. I'll teach you on the ice. I'll teach you. This is gonna be okay. a joke. <laughs> you know, I want to who's gonna tie my laces on my skates? I don't know how to tie laces. <laughs> Okay, George, take care. Uh, listen, too, what I, hey, if some of your comments go viral tomorrow, they go viral. Okay. I didn't say it. You did. What do you want me to tell you? No problem. Bonsoir, la visite. Ciao, ciao, bello. All right, All right. Okay. Marinero for uh, my buddy Charlie Cabrera over at Optimal Stretch Clinic. I know that uh, I had a couple of buddies who actually heard me talking about him, and they're like, this guy's absolutely unbelievable, and they gave him a call. He specializes in fascial stretch therapy. I was at Agnello's house earlier today, enjoying the weather and his pool, and I told us Agnello the same thing. I said, Agnello, you got to go see Charlie and Sam at 4710 St. Ambroise, so you check them out. They're going to make you feel like a million bucks, and they're going to stretch you out. I still can't believe what George said tonight on the sick podcast, but that's another reason why you should be watching because sometimes people just say things and then all of a sudden all hell breaks loose. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. Uh, tomorrow night, we'll be back. Same time, same place for Shane Gaumont at Master Control. Thanks everyone for listening and watching the sick podcast. If you liked it, uh, like it, share it with your friends, comment sick, S-I-C-K, S-I-C-K, S-I-C-K. If you're going to listen to us on Google, Apple, or Spotify, leave us a five-star review. It's our way of feeling the love. I'm Marinaro. And that's a wrap. Hope you don't miss us too much until next time. Follow the Sick Podcast with Tony Marinaro on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Google Play, and Apple Podcasts. The Sick Podcast is brought to you by Energy Transportation Group. Driven to be different. La Vida TV. Embrace your true nature. And Playground, your premier gaming destination.